Hey, it's Maggie K. So, I am on a little bit of a fitness journey. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube relating to that kind of stuff. And one thing that they suggested to me was a video by Taylor Woods when she drank a gallon of water a day. And um, <laughs> suddenly I got like a rush of all these videos about people drinking a gallon of water a day. And I was like, that seems really interesting. I know I don't drink enough water. So I was very intrigued by this idea and I wanted to try it out. Turns out all of these videos about drinking a gallon of water a day were well over a year ago. So I'm late to the trend where I'm bringing it back. So when I decided that this is something I wanna try, the number one problem is that um, I don't know what a gallon is. I am not American. I do not know what a gallon is. That is not a unit of measurement we use. So I looked it up and a gallon is like three point something liters. Not a nice conversion, but okay. And I was looking at my water bottles I had trying to find like how much they hold. Couldn't figure that out. <laughs> I think like my one cup I usually use is like 650 milliliters and then my other water bottle is I, I saw on the bottom it said 17 ounces which again I I don't really know what an ounce of liquid is <laughs> but I looked up that there's 128 ounces in a gallon so I was like okay got an idea but again it was just an awkward number to use and also I was like is that like right to the very tip top or is it like where in the bottle is it like right at the edge you know how bottles work here i'll show you <laughs> this was my normal water bottle and i was like is it to here is that what they're counting at 17 or is it like all the way to the top or is it like a little also i can't actually see how much water i'm putting into this so i was just like you know what i'm gonna try and make this easy on myself and not have obscure uh estimations for these numbers and like actually know that I'm getting an actual gallon every day. So I just went to the dollar store and I found this water bottle, which again, just made it so much easier for me because like I said, I don't know what a gallon is. I don't know what ounces are, um, but this one had both milliliters and ounces measured onto it. So I can fill up to this line here if my camera will focus. I don't think it will, um, but it's 32 ounces to this line here. And then it's a thousand milliliters if I fill it all the way to the top. So I can see this. I can make sure that I know exactly how much water I'm drinking. So this is 32 ounces to this line, four of these bottles a day. So yes, that is what I'm doing. It is day one. It's also a little bit after one o'clock. I had class this morning and couldn't film this introduction before class but I've already finished one of these bottles. I also had a coffee this morning and a glass of water that I put supplements in. I'm not counting those, I'm strictly counting the actual water. Um, so I'll definitely be getting more liquids than uh, just this, but like minimum a gallon is what I'm aiming for. So yeah, we'll see how the afternoon goes. But so far, it seems fine. I have noticed I had to pee more. I, I usually have a really strong bladder and I can get through all of my morning classes without ever needing to use the washroom. I've used it twice so far. So um, quarter of the way through a gallon and I've already <laughs> noticed that I need to pee a lot more. Okay, so a little day one update. I have finished class for the day. It's the six. 50 almost now <laughs> um and i just refilled my last water bottle for the day um i'm impressed with myself like after finishing my first one going through my second i was like oh this might be hard but then i went through the third really quick and really easily um so yeah my last water bottle just before seven I think it'll be fine. It'll be easy. Um, I'm gonna do a workout, so I'll probably drink at least a quarter of this during the workout. 
and then I still have dinner and then I want to drink water. Easy, easy. Gallon a day, easy. It is day two of drinking a gallon a day <laughs> uh, for a week. And um, yeah, I just filled up this bottle again. So I've done a quarter of what I need to do so far. And it's just before one o'clock. Um, I didn't have classes this morning and I'm about to go into my uh, afternoon. <laughs> I basically have class from one to 8.30. So yeah, this morning was a slow start, but I guess this is kind of on track of what I did yesterday. Like this morning I was like, oh wow, like I'm really not drinking a whole lot of water. Um, but I'm kind of at the same spot as yesterday. So maybe, maybe it'll be fine. Like yesterday I had a coffee and um, my supplement drink as well on top of what I'm doing. I made a hot chocolate to get me through my classes as well as the water. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. It's not as bad as I thought it might be. So it is almost 11 o'clock. I finished school, I had to call my mom. But yeah, this is the last of the water. Um, I think I can drink that before I go to bed. It shouldn't be hard. Yeah, day two. It started off rough, I wasn't confident, but no, it was fine. So day three, I have finished my first bottle. And yeah, it's 1220. Um, yeah, today I woke up with like a really dry mouth. So I kind of like dug in first thing this morning, drank about probably half of this, like before I did anything. Um, and then it slowed down a little bit, but I feel like I'm kind of on the same path that I've been on for the last two days where it's like probably one in the morning and then three in the afternoon, evening, which in my head makes it feel like I'm not like spreading this out very well. But also I wake up at like 7.38 and I go to bed at 11. So I have a lot more time in the afternoon to drink more water then. So I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine, it's good. I finished day three of drinking a gallon a day. And uh, yeah, today started off really good. I was really impressed with myself. And then things kind of slowed right down and I didn't get to my last bottle until nine o'clock, but it's almost 11. It's just before 11 now and I finished it. So we're good, done. Um, and yeah. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I finished it just in time. Hi, it is day four and I haven't really made an update about <laughs> where, how today was going. Um, today went fine with the water. I just like didn't film anything cause I got really into some of the projects I'm working on. I had to do a lot really quickly, but it is a little after 9.30 and this is the last of my gallon today. So it went fine. I finished a full bottle before noon. So yeah, today was chill, but didn't really record much because I just like, I was super into what I was doing for school and uh, I had to update my portfolio really quickly and whatever, lost track of time. Today, time, don't know what that is, but it didn't affect my, uh, my water drinking, so I guess that was fine. <laughs> All right, so I ignore my roommate being really loud. Um, it is the end of day five. Um, today was another like time warp, wormhole into projects. Um, didn't film throughout the day. It was like literally the time I woke up, I had a meeting with a group and then I just like kept working, like didn't, didn't do anything, but um, I drank all the water. I find that it's really easy for me to make sure I drink water when I'm sitting at my desk all day and like just working all day. I think it's gonna be harder once I have to like leave my house 
and like leave my room and carry it with me. Day sitting at my desk, like literally the whole time, except for like the 30 minutes I went out to eat dinner. Um, easy to drink a gallon of water. So update in day six, almost done a week. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, it's like three o'clock, right? Yeah, almost 3.30. This morning was pretty good. I basically finished one bottle and then, yeah, I went out to do some errands and I'm just kind of like getting started on my second. So not super great progress, but I was also out doing things and not drinking water for an hour and a half or so. I've also kind of realized that like over this last almost week, I'm almost finished it. Um, I never really talked like why or like what I was hoping to get out of this. I think I forgot to mention that on the first day. So yeah, personally, there's lots of reasons why drinking a gallon of water is considered good or what it might help with. Personally, the number one thing I'm hoping for is like energy levels, just like making sure that my body is functioning enough. Like the last two days are pretty like obvious. Like my grad program is super intense. There's a lot of work that I need to do. I feel like I just need to make sure that I'm taking care of my body physically in order to like stay on top of my schoolwork, you know? I'm not gonna be doing my schoolwork very well if I am dehydrated and tired and not uh, feeling my best. Also kind of related to that, I'm hoping like, just like my digestion and appetite kind of works itself out a little bit more. There are certain days and certain times where like, I am just like super hungry all the time. And I think probably some of that's just like me being dehydrated and like, compensating by eating extra food. I'm hoping that, you know, it will kind of, you know, calm down my appetite and also like just some digestion issues I've been having for a while that I really should probably see a doctor on, but we're not gonna get into that. Uh, and yeah, the last thing I'm really hoping is like for my skin. I can tell, I don't know if other people can tell, but I can tell like instantly when I am like not drinking enough, like I see it in my face of how like dry, well my skin's always dry, but like I can see like the wrinkles all around my eyes or on my forehead, like they just are there, they're super prominent. Um, but once I like get back into drinking water, they go away. <laughs> my skin looks plumper and firmer if I'm drinking water and it, it really is hydration like you can see all of my skincare products back there I'm like putting a lot on my skin I'm taking like good care of my skin from the outside but drinking water and helping it from the inside is also something um, that I notice my skin reacts a lot to I also don't think I'm going to see like huge changes in these kinds of things in just the week. A week is really not that long, especially if you wanna see some changes. Cool, as of day six, I'm on bottle two at 3.30. So hopefully it's not too bad. I'm gonna do editing and stuff today. So again, I feel like sitting at my desk is gonna be chill for drinking enough water. So far, it's been easy. So today is the final day of my uh, gallon week. It's almost 7.30 now, and um, this is my third bottle, so I have like one and a half left. I haven't haven't been really, really recording or filming much today. I think because I have like, what do I have? I have two projects and two pitches due within the next two days. So I'm just like really working and putting final touches on everything. It's not really a filming <laughs> time for me, which is why I guess the last few days of this week uh, slowed down with like how much explanation and talking and updates throughout the day. But yeah, um, it's been a really, productive work day kind of thing for me. 
a bottle and a half left. Um, I'm gonna go make dinner and probably finish this and then another bottle in the, would be like three hours <laughs> before I go to bed. So I'm not worried about finishing this. All right, so it has been a few weeks since I did that little experiment and I'm just gonna give some final thoughts, kind of wrap up everything. So the changes that I noticed, there wasn't a whole lot, I'm gonna be honest. Um, the one thing I did notice is that my appetite was a little more controlled. Typically during my period, right at the start, I get super hungry. Like my appetite goes off the deep end. I don't crave certain foods the way some people do. I just get really, really, really hungry. I will eat like double or triple the amount I usually do. And during the week was that time of the month. And I noticed I didn't do that as much as I usually do. I was still hungrier than normal, but it was not as bad as it usually is, which was a nice little change because like I realized like I overeat a lot <laughs> during that time of the month and it's something I probably shouldn't be doing. So not craving food as much as I usually do was kind of nice, I guess. But in terms of other benefits people talk about, I didn't see any kind of significant weight loss, kind of just what was expected. And like my skin didn't really change too much, which again, like it was only a week. I'm not expecting a big change. Um, but yeah, the appetite thing was the only difference I noticed. That was the week. Since then, have I continued? Kind of. So during the week I filmed, it was really easy for me to drink a gallon a day because it was a very boring week. Can I say it was boring? It was very standard. I really just had classes. I wasn't doing anything fun or exciting. I was like sitting at my desk most of the week and it was really easy to just have that bottle of water there with me and go through a gallon. When I started doing other things, uh, I would spend, you know, 10 plus hours out around the city. It was kind of hard to do a full gallon. So I kind of changed how much water I would aim for. A gallon doesn't mean anything to me. A gallon is just a word. I can't comprehend that because that's not a unit of measurement I use. So I decided to change that to 3000 milliliters. So on this bottle, I was filling it up to the one line four times to get the gallon. Instead, I'm filling it all the way up three times. And it's just easier to switch between different bottles if I'm out because I always know what milliliters are and I can comprehend milliliters and I don't know what a gallon is. I don't know what an ounce is. So I kind of just made it easier for myself. It is also less water, so it is easier to reach that amount. But at the same time, this is still more water than I was typically drinking before. So getting lots of water still, I can easily track it. And it's like an easier amount to get to when I'm really busy and I'm all over the place. So yeah, that's what I've been doing and I think it's been beneficial for me. I think I feel better generally. So overall, I'm glad I decided to do this little experiment and I've just modified it to keep it going. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.